mentally I started to lose my love for the game. There were days there where I'm like, man, this, like if I don't get this, do I want to keep going? Do I want to like keep chasing this contract? What's going on, Ted Tweedy? I hope you're all super well. I'm heading off to the gym to get a workout in. I just finished off the Black Friday sales marketing, I guess. Just putting up a few Instagram posts, fixing up prices. There's up to 50% off, so make sure you guys go down below, click the link in the description to pick yourself up a pair of grip socks if you've been thinking about buying them, or if you wanna raise stock, now is the time to do it, man, because these discounts are pretty crazy. So going off to the gym, uh, John Terry cardio workout today and then tomorrow is going to be the longer distance running so I'm working on both I, I'm pretty sure it's anaerobic and aerobic fitness so I'm working on both types of fitness just making sure that I'm hitting all bases and really getting myself ready so let's go so I want to have this chat in the car when it's just me and you no one else can hear it's just me and you behind the screen I've been getting slammed a lot in the comments recently for not doing stuff in the off season people saying that my workouts are a joke I feel like I'm working damn hard for what I can right now I am working I'm definitely increasing the loads that I'm doing I'm definitely improving but I think no one really understands the position I was in and no one really knows how that time period felt in my off season it was man close to one of the hardest times ever in football where I had a professional contract that looked like it was going to happen. I really thought that I performed. As I've told you guys, I set up goals. And I left America and I was close to certain. And yes, you should never have these thoughts that things are going to be certain in football. But I truly thought that I was going to sign in America from the feedback, from my performances, everything. Now to get dragged along as I did, it, it man. That's so hard. It is so tough mentally to go through that every single day thinking, I believe I'm going to sign a pro contract and every day the news is, hey, we're still not sure yet. And I think that, and that really took a mental toll on me. And I, you know, I believe that's why I didn't go out and do stuff because I mentally, I started to lose my love for the game. There were days there where I'm like, Man, this, like, if I don't get this, do I want to keep going? Do I want to like keep chasing this contract? A day, and at the end of the day, man, yeah, of course I do. That's why I'm here right now. But that little off-season period, that's why I wasn't getting back and doing extra fitness stuff. That's why I was, I don't even know what I was doing. But just keep in mind, you need to look after yourself mentally, and I believe the best thing to do to look after myself mentally would have been to go out and get those sessions in, uh, those extra ones in the off season. But just didn't even cross my mind. It was tough, man. And that's all I really want to say on it. So let's, let's all move on from it. It's a shame. There's still a possibility I might sign in America, but I really want you guys to, yeah, I made the mistake. I want you guys to learn from my mistake and you know, implement that into your life. If you're in a situation where you're not feeling amazing, the best thing to do is always get out and do what you love. And I love football. That's why I go down every day. That's why I push myself. And I think that's all I really want to say on it. So I've learned for the future and I hope you guys can take something away as well. But I do want to move on because I want to put myself in a better place mentally in terms of football because it is so tough to be dragged along as I am and you know when you think things should go your way and I, I'll say it again you should never think in football things are gonna go your way but I, again no one was really in my position no one was at the trial no one experienced the conversations I did and yeah like guys just look after yourself mentally that's my biggest thing so now that, that we put that behind us we leave it behind let's move on uh, I'm doing a John Terry cardio workout. It means, hey, I didn't put that work in in the off season. I just got to work four or five times as hard now. And that's what I'm trying to do. So hopefully we have some exciting times ahead. But yeah, again, last note, look after yourself mentally. Do what you love. If you're feeling down or if you're, 
I don't know, man. If you're just not feeling right, just make sure you guys look after yourself. If you never need someone to talk to, I'll do my best to get to as many messages as possible. But football ain't an easy game, man. It ain't easy. <laughs> Uh, it's one hell of a ride, I'll tell you that. So let's do this gym search, let's get our mind off things, and let's get to work, man. There's a couple more things I want to say on that. Number one is it's okay to not be okay. Mental health is a serious issue, and I want you guys to not be afraid to speak up about it, but also if, especially in this football world as a community, if you have a friend that's out there who's grinding, just ask them if they're all right. Ask them how they're going. Uh, just be that friend. The second thing is all earnings from this video will be donated to Beyond Blue. They're an Australian organization who help people who suffer from mental illness and they provide different types of support and I, I want to help them out because I was in not such a great place and I know what it's like and I know a lot of people have it worse than I do. So I do want to help where I can. Now we move into the bench press, that last John Terry cardio workout you just saw, I did 5 sets and then moved the pace down to 16 kilometers an hour for a set and a half until I was on the verge of vomiting. Uh, it was tough man, I, I pushed myself as hard as I can, like I said, I'm not the fittest right now but I am aiming to be the fittest as I possibly can. We move into the deadlift form, I it's slightly off i want to get my bum a little bit further down because i think my back is too parallel like flat i guess and if you just watch that again you can see that guy in the mirror doing some nordics and i'm going to take notes of that because i'll implement it into my workouts then we do i felt good so i decided let's get back into the john terry cardio workout again so i put it down to 16 kilometers an hour because i didn't want to push myself to a point where i wouldn't you know where i'd injure myself but i felt like 16 kilometers an hour was a decent pace where i'd still be able to get a lot out of it and i got up to four sets until my legs started to fail on me it was tough but that's the whole point of the john terry cardio workout man i i've said it before people can do 20 sets people can do 15 sets well hey guess what i'm on five and yeah that's just the reality i'm not just gonna stop at five and be at five for the rest of my life I'm going to push as hard as I can to get up to that 20 sets, get up to 30 sets if I can. Like, I want to be the best, and everybody has to start somewhere, man. And I don't want to touch on what I said before about what happened during that time in off season, but hey, that's what happened, and we have to move on. We have to keep going and keep putting one foot in front of the other. So that was my John Terry cardio workout and my entire gym session. Okay, it's a little bit later, 6 o'clock. These last couple of days, I haven't been vlogging much throughout the middle of the day. I've really been using that time to work on steps. Right now is the biggest time of the year, Black Friday. Then Christmas is coming up, so I'm not really prioritizing the vlogs, although I am working extremely hard. I'm trying to build a future man and trying to build one of the best brands in the world. I'm loving it. Super fun hobby, man. But now it's football time. This is what I love more than anything else. This is, oh, we get to go to the park. Even though I am so exhausted after the session this morning, my muscles are aching. I want to get down there. I don't care if it's a light session. I want to be on the ball. So, oh yeah, off to the park, baby. Damn it, these people over there just took my ball. I want to use that thing. Uh. Hi, Mom. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, dude. How's it going? How are you? Good to see you. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> G'day, man! <laughs> <laughs> he's thinking from right over there, he's gone. I was like, I bet that's him over there. <laughs> yeah, I can see the vlog coming from all the way over here. Yeah.
search done, man, there's, uh, there's honestly nothing better than coming down to a place like this. You got your footballs, you got a wall. Like, man, I love it. I absolutely love it. And like I said earlier on in this video, like, I should have come down here. Now I know. Again, life is about learning, making mistakes in order to become a better person, whether it's a better player on the field, improve your mental health, whatever it is. Life is about learning, and I'm learning a lot right now. So quality, oh, I just wanna lie down here. I'm so dead, man. So, so dead. We got another fitness, oh, yeah, another fitness session tomorrow. Whew, that's gonna be tough, man. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Oh well, the good thing is I get to come down here tomorrow night. Can't complain about that.